last of the series of four here for completing the square. Number 12 is oops, uh, looking like we have an x squared term, we have a y squared term, but two things to note. Um, they are not the same coefficient, and they're also not the same sign. So if we go to the identifying conics on page two of our notes, that falls under the hyperbola uh, example. So A and C are opposite signs. Um, so we can identify that at least. Okay, done. Check. Okay, next step it says to go ahead and uh, convert that to standard form. So step one, as always, we group all of the x terms together and then the y terms together. And at the same time, in that same step, we move any constant terms to the right. So uh, we got 25. 25x squared, we have a five, uh, 100x um, minus 16y squared, we have a positive 96y. Uh, and while we're at it, we're moving that 444 by adding it to both sides. And now we get to actually complete the square. Um, this one here is a little bit different because for the first time we are having uh, coefficients of our x and y term, uh, y squared terms uh, that do not equal one. So uh, what we're going to do is we first group out. So 25, we we factor out the coefficient on the x squared and eventually the y squared. So 25 times the quantity x squared plus 4x. Okay. Uh, actually, sorry, I didn't mean to put that parenthesis yet. Because, um, no, you know what, I, I should. Um, sorry, I do want to make sure that I do these in enough steps so I don't group too many steps in, in one line. So uh, we'll just factor that out. Um, I believe that is 6. Double check my work here, 25 minus 16. Oh, there it is. I knew I missed something. Uh, we got to be careful. That needs to be a minus. And the reason that has to be a minus is we have a minus 16 out front, but we eventually had a plus 96y. So if I left that as a plus here, I'd, I'd actually be converting that to a minus 96. Please be careful, just like I did there. Um, be careful not to do that. Uh, make sure you end, when you combine things back together, you end with the right uh, signs again. So somewhere I missed a equal. There we go. So now is when we get to complete the square. Uh, I'm going to move this over a little. So 25 plus x. And then we take half of that 4 and square it. Okay, and half of negative six squared. And now we take 444. And you gotta be real careful when we add, just like we've done before, if we if we took that half of that x term or y squared y term and squared it. And then we added it to the other side. We have to be careful because that term, so in this case, our 4 here, that 4 is inside a parenthesis that is getting multiplied by 25. So please be careful. We have to add 100. We don't just add 4. We have to add 4 times that coefficient. Uh, and here we have to add, um, nope, I guess we have to subtract. Sorry. We subtract. If I can get it gone, there we go. Uh, 16 times 9, if you know your uh, squares, uh, that's just minus 144. So 16, 9, 144. So now we can take and actually write these out. So 25, uh, sorry, write these out as squares.
So 25, we get our x plus 2, 16, we get y minus 3, and if you take 444 plus 100 minus 144, we end with just plain 400. Um, going back to the standard form for hyperbola, we need to set that equal to 1. So this x squared term, y squared, they have to equal 1. So in order to do that, we're going to divide both sides by 400. Um, that actually works out coincidentally. Um, 25 times 16 is 400. So what it ends up looking like is the quantity x plus 2 squared over 16. minus y minus 3 squared over 25. And that all equals 1. So we have our standard form. We have identified. We have answered number 12. So um, again, each of these has their own unique features. Um, you know, if you have to factor things out, if you get to skip certain steps like number 11. Um, but as it says, now it's your turn, 13, 14. Um, also, there's plenty of practice problems at the end of the packet, too. So um, there it is. That's completing the square. That is everything we need to know in order to finish uh, sinus. So, good luck.